Welcome to the Sell and Signal podcast for the week of August 24th, 2015. Welcome, welcome, my small but loyal band of listeners. It is always a pleasure to do this podcast for you. And always remember that if you, the small but mighty, have an interest in suggesting a topic for a new podcast, you can always contact me through the Contact Us button at blog.solidsignal.com, and I'll be happy to take that suggestion. This week's podcast falls under the category of Man Bites Dog. That's what they used to call a newspaper story where there was something kind of turned around in it. And in this case, what's turned around is the U.S. government actually doing something right. Now, I'm not going to get political, and I'm never going to get political in this podcast. That would be kind of foolish. But I think that everyone these days shares a healthy cynicism for our government and what they do and don't do. Well, it turns out that our government did something right. Not recently, but a a long time back, and it's turning out to be a better deal than we thought. Back in the days when we were all transitioning from analog to digital television, broadcasters asked, well, if I'm going to be having to move from Channel 5, for example, where I've been for the last 70 years, to Channel 37, where nobody's going to be able to find me, what's going to happen? The answer from the government was, we're going to create a translation system so that people can still tune to Channel 5 and your TV will know to tune to Channel 37 or whatever. The system is called PSIP, P-S-I-P, and it is just that. It's just like a translation table where your TV knows where to tune so that it can go wherever it needs to go and you tune to the channel that you really think you're watching as opposed to the one that you're actually watching. Very cool for everybody. And then channels get to keep their historically significant channel numbers. Here's why it's going to work out better than anybody expected. Because back in 2006, 2007, nobody thought that we would be having another transition this soon. And it turns out, folks, that we are. Why? Because you all want more wireless data. And let's be honest, so do I. And there's only so many places in that big old electromagnetic spectrum that you can put that kind of broadcasting and still make it make some sort of financial sense. So, you literally have to take away from somebody if you're going to give to somebody else. That's the way it goes. So, armed with that information and armed with the understanding that television broadcasting is a lot more precise than it was in 1940, surprise, surprise, the FCC is embarking on what's called a repacking plan. In other words, they're going to move all the stations closer together, and they're going to get rid of some stations. If this is completely successful, they're actually going to get rid of everything above UHF channel 31. So you're really just going to start with 7 and go up to 30. Well, 31 anyway. That's a lot fewer station locations than there used to be, but The way things are going, they've got some plans to actually make that work without taking away any stations that you really want or need. I don't want to go into how that's going to happen because that's a subject for another whole podcast. I want to talk about how the federal government was wise. Because when this repacking does happen, then all the stations are going to change broadcast frequencies. Well, I shouldn't say all. Many stations are going to change broadcast frequencies. If you've got cable or satellite, you won't even notice. But even if you've got over the air, it's not going to take more than a plain old channel scan to put everything right. And there'll probably be a crawl on whatever stations are affected, probably for a month ahead of time, saying, hey, you probably ought to do a channel scan because, you know, it's going to whatever. And there's going to be a transition period just like there always was. And end of the day, it's just not going to be a problem. And... You know, this means that the federal government could change station allocations anytime they want. And all it would take would be a simple scan on your TV to make it better. That's smart. Uncharacteristically smart. And that just turns out to be the way the federal government works. Man bites dog. See you next time on the Solid Signal Podcast. 